Hello and welcome back to your Pilates for Runners workout program. Today we are going to be doing a full body workout. We are going to be focusing on those glutes as well as that flexibility and mobility and giving a nice amount of attention to that core activation consistently throughout our workout. Let's get straight into our mobility routine before we get into our activations. I want us starting in an all fours position today. Let's get into that position. Remember, we want those wrists comfortably under those shoulders and those knees comfortably under those hips. Remember to get that neutral pelvic positioning. And today I want us to start with a little bit of pelvic mobility. So all we're going to do is just do a few little pelvic curls in that all fours position. So let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're just tucking in that pelvis. Inhale to pause. Exhale all the way out. So we're just getting mobility in that lower back. And slowly back. Let's do three more. And last two. Tucking in. And back. Coming back to neutral. We're going to do that same thing with our upper body. Let's open that chest. Looking up to the wall in front of us. Now slowly tucking in and pushing that upper spine back up. Let's inhale. Exhale. Opening up and tucking back in and let's do two more opening that chest now pushing up and all the way to the ceiling and back to neutral let's get that neck in neutral we're going to bring that right leg out next to us and we are rotating that tailbone towards the wall behind us as we lean all the way back pushing that groin into the ground Allow that stretch to go all the way down that leg as you're working. All the way. Leaning back, pushing that groin in. Let's do three more of these. And the last two. And we're going to stay down after that last one. Leaning all the way back, pointing that toe towards the ceiling and leaning that shoulder towards that knee and bringing that other arm up and over towards that foot. Slowly coming back forward and leaning back into that all fours position, We're activating and lifting that right leg as we bring it to Superman hold. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Into knee and elbow tuck for 8 counts. That's 1. And extend. And 2. And extend. Keep going. Exhale. Tuck. Inhale. Extend. We're halfway. Making sure that you are keeping that core tight and that body aligned keep going you've got two more and extend now we're bringing that leg up and across the midline and leaning into that left glute and we're going to just rock forwards and backwards into that glute so you want to feel a stretch into that left glute and let's do two more and coming back up and holding again for another 10 seconds remember keeping that core tight and activating that glute nine eight seven six five four three two one coming down and lifting that Left leg out into the side to do that same thing. So we're leaning all the way back and forward. Remember, welcoming that stretch down the leg as you're working and rotating that tailbone outwards and forward. And let's do just a few more before we get back into that seated position to hold. And last one, we're staying down there, rotating that foot 
up towards the ceiling, grabbing those toes with that left hand as you reach your right hand over and slowly coming back up, back into that all fours position, lifting that left leg and right arm and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, into elbow knee tuck, that's one, and extend, exhale knee tuck, slow and controlled, become aware of that body in time and space as you're moving, we're halfway, and up, and two more, keep working, And holding for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dropping that right arm and bringing that left leg across midline. Leaning into that right glute and using your left foot to just push yourself backwards and forwards. As you're working and let's do two more lifting that leg back up and holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one dropping those limbs down and leaning all the way back into rest position Pushing those shoulders into the ground and lifting yourself back up into that all fours position. We're going to extend that right leg out and then that left leg into that front support position. You can see that my heels are above my toes and I'm not dropping into my pelvis and I'm imagining like I'm pushing myself away from the floor with my hands, let's inhale. And on that exhale, we're lifting right leg up off the floor into toe taps, inhale, exhale, toe tap, that's one, and two, and three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, and eight, lifting up, keeping that foot where it is into push-ups for five counts. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Back up, dropping that right foot, lifting that left off the floor, deep breath in, exhale, toe tap, and back up. That's one, and two, and three, neck in neutral, four, and five, core tight, six, seven, and eight, into five push-ups with that foot in the air, inhale, exhale, down, that's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, dropping that leg down, lifting your glutes up towards the sky, Let's inhale, exhale, dropping that pelvis to the floor and dropping those feet onto the mat, opening that chest, lifting those glutes back up, rolling back into those tiptoes, pushing this head through those arms and walking your hands to the center of the mat as you bend your right knee, pushing left heel into the ground and changing over and pushing both heels into the ground as you push your head through those arms inhale exhale open that pelvis towards the ground as you open that chest rolling back onto the front part of your feet looking up towards the sky and back into that rest position. Let's allow that heart rate to slowly 
come down for a quick recovery let's inhale let's slowly lift ourselves back up into all fours we're going into our second sequence and with these two sequences we are going to do three times let's tuck those toes in under our feet let's inhale exhale lifting hovering those knees off the floor let's inhale exhale squeezing those knees and back into center that's one and two and three keep working core tight again keeping those shoulders in that neutral and let's do three more that's one keeping core tight using those glutes to pull out and last one into eight half push-ups so as we pull those knees out we are tucking those elbows in and dropping halfway down then back to center as we close those knees that's one and two and three and four and five keep going three more six seven and eight coming back to center dropping those knees and leaning back into rest position walking your hands to the left hand side as you open your right side of your body and again towards the right hand side as you open the left side of your body coming back to center pushing both shoulders into the ground coming back into that all fours let's inhale exhale right leg off the floor then left leg lifting that right leg up into those eight toe taps and exhale toe tap that's one two three four five six seven and eight keeping that leg off the floor into those five push-ups inhale exhale one and two and three four and five dropping that foot down deep breath in left leg up inhale exhale toe tap that's one and two three four five six seven and eight inhale exhale keeping that leg off the floor and push up one and two and three and four and five dropping that leg down lifting those glutes towards the sky as you keep your legs extended and your heels off the floor and slowly dropping that pelvis towards the floor as you open up and leaning back into that rest position pushing those shoulders into the ground coming back into all fours let's keep working everybody very nice let's enjoy that increased heart rate lifting and hovering those knees off the floor deep breath in exhale up and squeezing those knees away and back to center that's one and two and three four and five six opening as much as you can seven and eight after this one going into our mini push-ups open those knees as you drop down that's one making sure that those elbows don't fall out halfway and that's five six seven and eight and we're going to hold for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and leaning back into that rest position bringing arms towards the left hand side pushing those shoulders into the ground and slowly coming back towards the right hand side pushing those shoulders also again into the ground and 
slowly coming back to center. We're going to do that one more time before we change our positioning. Very nice. Um, feeling good. So let's keep pushing through. Let's bring ourselves back into that all fours position. Right leg up, left leg up, deep breath in, exhale. Right leg up into toe taps, inhale, exhale, toe tap. That's one and two and three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Inhale, exhale into our push ups and one, two, three, four, five. Dropping that leg down, lifting that left leg. Inhale. Exhale, lift into toe taps. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Into push ups, and one, and two, and three, four, and five. Dropping that leg down, lifting those glutes. Up to the sky as you draw your head through your shoulders and bending that right knee as you push your left heel into the ground and changing over. Lifting both heels off the floor, dropping our pelvis towards the ground as you open the chest and look to the sky. And leaning back into rest position. Allow that heart rate to slow down. Coming back into all fours for our final round of the set of sequences. Deep breath in, exhale, lifting and hovering those knees. Remember, drawing those scaps down your back. Lifting up, deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze away and to center. That's one and two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Into our half push ups, deep breath in. Exhale, open those knees as you drop down. That's one and two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Dropping those knees and leaning back into rest position and lifting yourself up as you bring your right foot next to your right hand and lean forward into that front knee as you lift your arms up and towards the sky. And slowly coming back up and dropping those hands towards the floor as you bring that chest towards that knee, keeping that back straight. One more. Let's bend that knee as we lean into that front knee. Lifting up. Inhale. Exhale, leaning back. Toes to ceiling as you bring your chest and arms towards the floor. Bring that leg behind you to do that same thing. Left leg next to left hand. Leaning into that front knee as you lift your arms to the sky. Leaning back, extending that front leg, bringing those toes to the ceiling. And last one, leaning into that front knee. As you bring your arms to the sky, And extend as you bring those arms to the floor and your chest to the knees and slowly bring that leg all the way back down bring that pelvis to the floor opening that chest and walking your hands and your chest all the way onto the mat extending those arms out in front of you I want you to 
rest that neck in neutral we're going to lift both arms and both legs off the floor on that exhale let's inhale exhale lift and hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 keeping those legs where they are we are squeezing those elbows down towards each other into extension that's one and two and three four and five six seven and eight dropping those arms down and just resting your head on your hands we are going to keeping those knees off the floor core nice and tight we are bending and extending those legs as we maintain the activation of our glute muscles to keep those knees off the floor that's three we're doing eight keeping that core tight four and i want you to flex those ankles as you bend those knees and extend those knees we're going to point those toes keeping those knees off the floor and last one and extending lifting those knees off the floor and we're just doing little pulsations with our legs for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one and slowly down lifting yourself into rest position we're going to do that sequence one more time and extending yourself back onto the mat lifting those arms and legs off the floor and holding for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one try keep those knees and ankles together going into our elbow squeezes while we maintain the position of our legs that's two and three and four five squeezing and opening that chest six keep going seven and eight dropping those arms down resting your forehead on your hands and bending and extending that's one and two remember to flex and extend those ankles as you're working working those glutes and five keep going six and seven and eight and extending into those little pulsations for ten nine eight seven Six, five, four, three, two, one, and dropping those legs down to turn over onto that left hand side. Very nice. Let's keep up the good work. We are resting on that lower elbow and have that crisp posture into that shoulder, activating that tummy. Lower leg is bent at a 90 degree angle in front of you this upper leg is in line with the shoulder and those hips i want this other hand on this glute we're going to inhale exhale toe tap lifting back up into heel tuck that's one and two keeping core tight and don't slump into that shoulder three four and five we're doing eight of these, six, seven, last one before we progress the movement. Lifting up, bringing arm to ceiling, into little pulsations for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, into knee tucks. So we're going from there into knee tuck and extend that's one and two and three four you want to work really hard on keeping that height of that ankle five 
and six and seven and eight and slowly dropping down we're going to turn over onto our back to place that right ankle on that left knee hugging that knee towards your chest you should be feeling a deep glute burn if you aren't just try and do the movement a little bit slower and try and assess what you're doing wrong try and push that hip a little bit more forward and try and lift that knee a little bit higher or you might have really strong glutes which is an absolutely amazing thing just keep on doing that good work and maintaining that strength let's bring both feet onto the mat drawing those hands onto the floor we're going to lift right leg up into tabletop and then left leg interlacing hands behind the head we're going to lift head neck and chest off the floor and we're going to start with extensions into tabletop for 10 counts inhale exhale extending those legs and back to tabletop and extend that's two and three and four five and six we're doing ten of these seven and eight and nine and ten keeping those legs where they are dropping them slightly low, lower towards the ground extending arms up and around towards your sides and back around keeping palms towards the sky keeping core tight that's one we're doing eight of these two keeping that core activated three four Keeping core tight, five, if you're struggling with that neck, just support it with one of your hands, six, seven, and eight. Interlacing both hands behind the back of your right knee as you lower that left leg, pointing both toes, pulsating that knee to chest for two counts, and then changing over that, that's three and four and five and six and slowly bending those knees towards your chest hugging those knees as you look from left to right if you find that that strains your neck i'd rather you stop reset and get back into it and making sure that you are activating correctly let's lift our legs back up into that tabletop position interlacing hands behind head lifting head neck and chest off the floor placing both hands on that right knee we're going to extend and lower that left on that exhale and change over that to one two keep going we're changing and exhaling as we do so and last one on each leg keeping core tight a hand on each knee we're going to inhale extend limbs outwards and circulate around that's one we're doing six of these two keep working and three and four and five and six slowly hugging knees to chest and again looking from left to right and let's turn over onto our right hand sides to finish that sequence with our glutes so resting on that elbow bending that lower leg out in front of you making sure that that ankle knee and hips are all aligned with that upper leg let's inhale exhale toe tap and back up into heel tuck that's one and two keeping core tight and not slumping into that shoulder three four and five and six and seven and eight and into those pulsations for ten nine eight seven six five 
four, three, two, one. Into knee tuck and extension. That's one and two, three. So it's knee tuck and back up into that Hatton position, keeping that ankle flexed. Four and five and six and seven. Again, if you want to have more of a challenge, lifting that hand up and eight and slowly dropping that leg down and turning over onto your back, placing that left ankle on that right knee, hugging that knee to chest, allowing that heart rate to slowly come down. And let's hold for another five, four, three, two, one, placing both knees in that tabletop position extending arms into t-points and just dropping your legs all the way across midline towards the floor on your right hand side looking in the opposite direction drawing that shoulder down as you push your left hip towards the wall on the right hand side and deep breath in exhale lifting yourself all the way back up and over towards the left hand side and again looking in the opposite direction and slowly coming back up placing that right knee under that left knee and hugging your ankles towards the body allowing that heart rate to slowly start coming down and changing over allowing those glutes to stretch out Five, four, three, two, one. Extending both legs onto the mat, pointing those toes, ankles, and knees together. Bringing arms overhead. Inhale as we lift head, neck, and chest off the floor. Bringing arms aside. Exhale, rolling yourself up into seated. Well done for completing that workout with me. If you did find that you struggled through some of the movements, then again, I'd recommend that you decrease some of the reps and rest more frequently in between the workouts so that you can make sure that you can maintain a good quality activation that is effective. You don't want to find activations in the incorrect parts of your body because then you actually just strain yourself and not really doing the workout correctly, which then isn't really going to enhance your performance going forward. Keep up the good work and I will see you in the next video.